Hi, in previous lecture I discussed topological sort. Topological sort we can only apply on dark directed acyclic graph. The graph should be directed and there should not be any cycle. I also discussed two algorithms for topological sort. One is DFS based algorithm and another is source removal algorithm that is a decrease by one technique where we'll remove the source having zero in degree. I also discussed one example of topological sort with DFS based algorithm. In today's lecture, I will discuss same example with source removal algorithm. Now I will apply the second algorithm that is source removal algorithm for finding topological sort. So first step what we need to do, we need to find in degree of all the vertices. So for A in degree will be 0, for B in degree will be 1, for C in degree will be 1, for D in degree will be 1, for E in degree will be 1, for F in degree is 1, for G in degree is 3. You can see three edges are coming to G, so in degree is 3. Now write the in degree in increasing order. So for A it is 0, for B, C, D, E, F it is 1 and for G it is 3. Next we will remove the vertex having in degree 0. That is our source. So here we will remove vertex A and all its outgoing edge means we will also remove these two outgoing edge. So we will remove A with its outgoing edge and insert A into Q. We will insert A here. Now after removal of A all in degree will change. So B in degree will be 0 and C in degree will be 0. Rest in degree will be same. So now we got two vertices having in degree 0. So whenever there are more than one vertices, more than one source, we can choose arbitrarily. Let me choose B. So I will remove B and its outgoing edge. And I will insert B in Q. After removal of B, D in degree will be 0. Next, we can choose arbitrarily from C and D. Both C and D are source. We can choose arbitrarily either C or D. Let me choose C. So when we will remove C with C also this edge will remove. Now G in degree will be 2. Previously it was 3. Now it will be 2. And also we will insert C into Q. Next we got D in degree 0, E, F in degree 1 and G in degree 2. So D is our source having in degree 0. We will remove D and we will insert D into Q. With D we are also removing these edges. So E in degree will be 0, F in degree will be 0. Now we got E, F and G. E, F both in degree is 0. So we can choose arbitrarily any one as a source. Let me choose E. Now I will remove E with its outgoing edge and I will insert E here. When we are removing E, G in degree will change. Now G in degree is 1. We have just two vertices F and G. F in degree is 0, G in degree is 1. So first we will remove F and we will insert F into Q. After removal of F, G in degree will be 0. Next we will remove G and we will insert G into Q. In this sequence we will remove the source that is our topological sort. We got one topological ordering that is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There are also multiple topological ordering possible here E, F both in degree 0 we choose E. If we we'll choose F we will get another topological ordering. Here also C and D both are source we choose C. If we we'll choose D, we will get another ordering. Here also B and C have in degree 0. We choose B. If we we'll choose C, we will get another ordering. We can get 10 topological ordering for this graph. So how we will find this number 10? We cannot do for every sequence. We just did for one sequence and we got this. We cannot check for every sequence. It will be time consuming. Let's discuss alternative way to find number of topological ordering. In previous we saw that 
in every topological ordering start vertex is a and last vertex is g so a and g is fixed only changing vertex are b d e f and c and there is also condition like b should appear before d and d should appear before e and f and c can be in between any of b d e f so we can apply the combinatorics rule 5 factorial 5 factorial for 5 vertices b c d e f then 4 factorial divided 2 factorial 4 factorial for b d e f and 2 factorial as there are two condition b should appear before d and d should appear before e and f and 1 factorial as c can come in between b d e f if we solve this we will get 10 so there are 10 topological ordering we can apply the combinatorics or we can apply the source removal algorithm but that will be time taking for finding 10 topological ordering so best way you can apply the combinatorics or there is another way we can design a tree so from a either we can visit b or c then from b we can visit either d or c so d or C. Suppose after A we visit B, then after B we visit C. So then after C we can visit D. Before G, D, E, F should be visit. So after C we will visit D. Then after D either we can visit E or F. So there are two way. Either E or F. If we are visiting E, then we will visit F next G. That is one topological ordering. Here after D, if we are visiting F, next we can visit E, then G. This is our second topological ordering. Suppose A, then we visit B, then we visit D. A, B, D. After D, there are three way. Either we can visit E or F or C. So after D, there are three way E, F, C. Suppose we will visit E. After E, Either you can visit F or C. There are two way. If we will visit F, after F we can visit C, then G. If we will visit C, after that we can visit F, then G. Suppose we will visit F. A, B, D, F. After F, either you can visit E or C. There are two way E or C. If we will visit E, after you will visit C, then after C we will visit G. If we will visit C, after that we will visit E, then we will visit G. Suppose after D, we will visit C. A, B, D, then we will visit C. So after C, there are two ways either we can visit E or F. So E, F. If we will visit E, after that we will visit F, then G. If we will visit F, after that we will visit E and G. Suppose after A, we will visit C. After C, we will visit B. Then after B, we will visit D. Then after D, there are two chances. Either we can visit E or F. So let me visit E. If we will visit E, after E, we will visit F. Then we will visit G. If we will visit F, then after that we will visit E. Then we will visit G. It should be in sequence. So A should be start and G should be end. And how the arrow is given, how the direction is given, means D cannot come before B. After B, D will come. If we will count, this is one topological ordering. This is another topological ordering. Then this is third topological ordering. Fourth topological ordering. Fifth. This is our sixth. Then this is our seven. Eight. This is our 9 and this is our 10. There are 10 topological ordering for this graph. We used DFS based algorithm. We found 4 topological ordering. Then we used source removal algorithm. There we found 10 topological ordering. That we can also found by combinatorics method. Or if we are drawing the topological ordering tree, we are also getting 10 ordering. If in exam it will ask how many topological ordering is possible then answer is 10. Maximum 10 topological ordering possible for this graph. That we can find by source removal or combinatorics or topological ordering tree. 
In next lecture, I will discuss another example of topological ordering based on DFS algorithm and source removal algorithm. And if this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.